How say I, you don't want any old, old. the CPU. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Man Up where we bring you more tech and gaming related content. Now, I know I game a fair share but to be honest, I don't really know my PC inside out and yes, I mean literally inside out. So today, I'm gonna learn how to assemble my very own PC. Okay, so these are the parts which I have chosen for my own PC based on my own preference. Uh, I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out, but not to worry. I have on board with me two professionals who are here to guide me on how to build my PC. Let's welcome them. Hello, hello. Hi guys. Hi, uh, I'm Nicholas from Mansa Computers. And I'm Tashan from Asus. Uh, today, we are here to guide Ben to build his own PC. So, hopefully, he won't disappoint us. Yeah. Maybe to calm him a little. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys don't disappoint me. Uh. Hey. Okay, okay, uh, enough chatter, let's get to fixing. Okay, so uh, what should I start first? Start, start the motherboard. Oh, uh, yeah, motherboard. Yeah, yeah, I will put the RAM and the other stuff on it first. This, so, this is how a motherboard actually looks like. Yeah. yeah. Is there like a, a proper way to like handle the motherboard with like chair? Like, is there anything I shouldn't like touch? Like maybe I'm a bag glove and take it out of my bag. It's good too, but actually not necessary. So you just maybe place the steady back here, then yeah, and my box. Nice. Yeah. And so, you should... so there are a few components that we need right from the box. Uh, we usually have the SATA cable. This is for to connect your hard disk and maybe your SSD. SSD. Then we have the very important manual. Which everyone ignores. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but will, will this be helpful for me today? It will be, definitely. Even for seasoned builders, sometimes they will still need to refer to this. Yeah. Then we have some cable ties. Uh, so this will be helpful in keeping your cables neat and tidy. Of course, we have the driver. But nowadays, people usually go and download the drivers online. So this is really just a feel safe. The PC looks like it's forming. Uh. So uh, after I took out the motherboard, what do I do next? Okay, you can start by putting the CPU, so which is what we call the central processing unit. So today we have the AMD Ryzen 5 3600. A few inches later. One good habit is to maybe you want to build everything on top of the motherboard box. First, this one is uh, I'll say, uh, you don't want any old. It's the CPU. <gasps> oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh no. Yes. You realize that on the processors, right? Actually, there are a lot of pins behind, so oh. you don't want this to be bending. Right. So right. Right. So you be right. quite careful when you handle uh, it. Yeah. So preferably don't drop it when you take it out from the box. Would be a good idea. <laughs> See lah. Can already first strike already. You just did a Linus. <laughs> <laughs> what would be a pretty common way to damage 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 a CPU socket? So you gently push out the lever there, then you raise it up. The lever here? Yeah, correct. Uh, push push it out outwards and downwards, yeah. Then you leave it up. If the camera can see it's here there's a little arrow at this corner. Okay. And your on your CPU right there should be an arrow also. Gotta be very, very gentle. Is it in? Ah yes, oh, yeah. now it's in. Ah yeah. okay, okay, okay. Then okay. you can wiggle wiggle it a bit to see whether it's really seated in. Yeah, just gently. Yeah. yeah. Just like that. Ah, then okay. Okay, so this is my deal. Push it in. Ah, lock it in. Alright. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Done. The CPU itself comes with a cooler. Okay. So yeah, we, we can assemble it together as well. But before you can mount it on, right, you have to unscrew the brackets first. Lock it in. Press. Oh okay. wow! Hey, cool. Hey. <laughs> this one, Atas <laughs> one. Then you got the cheaper version, Mano one. Just to speed up. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's go old school since uh, new school tools doesn't seem to work now. Okay, if you're assembling your PC, it's always good to have a magnetic tray in case your screws are left lying about and you suddenly cannot find them. Okay, so what we do now is we're going to attach the uh, fan. And careful below. Oh. Uh, because below there's thermal paste underneath. Thermal Usually I position it the other side because I don't want to block the RAM slots. I will screw the opposite, diagonal, diagonal opposite side. Don't need to force it yeah. all the way in just until you cannot twist anymore. It will be good. Okay. Just now that it's physically attached to the board, right. you will need to connect this header 
to the motherboard. So this powers up the fan. Right. So we have to look for the CPU fan header. Usually it's cable. Mm. Yeah, usually I do like this. Ah. You just hide the cable for more. It's just mainly for aesthetic purposes. Okay. Yeah, look, the looks. Uh. So if you want to see the cable dangling around. Yeah. Ah, okay. Okay, so 15% uh, done in total so far. Uh, so far, so good. So we move on to the RAM. Yeah. Okay. Can you identify the RAM? This one. Uh. Yeah. Oh, really? Uh? Yeah, yeah. Very good, very good. <laughs> I really didn't know. <laughs> Very nice and uh, gold color aesthetic. Yeah, right. so for RAMs, right, actually, if you refer back to the manual again, right, depending on the number of RAMs you are running, okay. there's a specific configuration okay. that's optimized for it to run. So, two sticks will have two, two sticks configuration, four sticks is just all four. For two sticks, if I'm not wrong, usually it's the second and fourth slot. Second and fourth slot. What about the first and third? Uh, you can use it also, but it's just not as optimized. Yeah, yeah. Not as optimized. Okay, I shall trust the masters here. I shall listen to them. And trust the manual. Yeah, the manual. Right, <laughs> trust the manual as well. You have to take note, huh? there are directions for the ramp. So in between, there's a gap. So you have to make sure that this gap goes into the, the slot nicely. Right, and then you should hear a click. Wow, very nice. Now the motherboard really coming to life. Here we have the graphics cards. This is the ROG Strix uh, GeForce GTX uh, it's 1660 Ti. We have the power supply here. Also together with the chassis. Wow, this is heavy actually. Power supplies are generally uh, wait till you buy your case. Yeah. Wait till you try the ROG Strix series. That is the heaviest of all. Okay, uh, yes. disclaimer, I, I just uh, randomly picked all the parts because they, they look nice, uh, especially this one. Yes. So, I'm a, oh, one, one thing you must know about me is that uh, I'm an aesthetic over everything kind of guy. Okay, so. I understand. The, <laughs> I'm like that as well. Uh, last thing, right, before I move on is actually your SSD. So, uh, we have two uh, M.2 slots here. The first one will be here, then the second one will be here. In this case, we are going to use the top one. Mm. Because this is a SATA SSD. So this slot here is reserved for PCIe SSD. So that's a difference. Okay. I assume you don't know. But again, these are all mentioned in the manual. So depending <laughs> on the SSD that you pick, then you should know which one is supposed to go where. Okay, tricky. Oh, oh yes. Okay, okay, okay. So, okay, so after. <laughs> The SSD is usually we mount it onto the case. Oh, yeah, yeah. So train your arms. Oh, look at that. Sick, eh? So this is the ROG Strix series. RGB can be controlled by the motherboard or on its own. And to remove the glass, all you have to do is push this button. Oh, just lift it. There you go. Hey, see. The instruction manual also. <laughs> but it's okay lah. <laughs> I got your. I don't need the instruction manual. <laughs> wow, it actually smells very nice uh. Like Anything that's brand new, usually it smells nice. So usually, right, you look at your board, you look at your case inside, right, there'll be all these. These are all standoffs. Yeah. So just pick up the motherboard and make sure it houses, it sits nicely on all, on top of all the standoffs. So what we have here? what we call the I.O. shield. So <coughs> usually for most motherboards, these are actually a separate item itself that is that comes in the motherboard box. So before you actually put in the motherboard, you are supposed to attach this to the case. But for us, the ROG Strix B450F, this is actually what we call an integrated I.O. shield. So you no longer have to forget to do this. So the, the holes on the motherboard should align nicely with the standoffs on uh, case, right? Stop. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Three people watching one school going. <laughs> okay, so right now we are gonna remove the power supply shroud to put in the power supply and then do some cable roundings at the bottom. That includes uh, connecting the pre-configured wires to the motherboard. This is what we call a uh, demi-modular power supply because. There are some cables that you can't remove. Here, you see that there are additional cables that you can slot in. So, you see some options for customization. The only wire I kind of know is this one. Yeah, this is the power cable. Okay, I will 
screw. The Do you break it? Right. Yeah. Oh. Right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect some of the, uh, the headers from the case itself to the motherboard and a bit of cable management at the back. Power switch usually yeah. on the top. Top row, third and the fourth connector. Yeah, the recess switch can go directly Below. beneath the power switch. It's always the same, right? Oh, okay. For these two LED plus minus, right? Right. The plus is always on the left. Yeah. The minus is always on the right of the power switch. Same row. Okay. Ah, sweet. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So the next one you have to plug in is usually there's a audio, there's audio, audio right. cable, which is the colorful one. The bottom left of the motherboard. So one of it is actually ah one of it the left. Oh, yeah. Okay. Make sure that you're going in at a perfectly like nice angle. Yeah. yeah. Top down. Top down. down. Yeah. If not, the pins break, then GG. Ah, yes. Did you break something? Okay. Here <laughs> <laughs> okay. so yeah, is the hard disk. Ooh, one TB. Eh. No, it's not a lot yeah. today. <laughs> so usually, right, these ports are facing the, the back. back. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because that's where your cables go. Ah, okay. It's, okay. it's designed in such a way. So this one is based behind the snap it. Okay. Yeah. Then just slide it back in. So no screws needed, toolless. Yeah, nice. Okay. Ooh, the sound of success. <laughs> so uh right now gonna this is the last step, right? Yeah. Okay, graphics card. One of the most important components in the build today because you are not gonna enjoy your games without a good graphics card. That is true. With a beefy heatsink and a tree fan. <coughs> and of course RGB lighting. See, RGB <laughs> lighting. So this is the connector. We're gonna slot into the motherboard. But in today's video, we'll be using a riser cable. Uh, this. Okay, so this allows your graphics card to be vertically mounted. So when you see from the side, it'll be like that. Okay, so this is what we call a pill pawn in the PCMR community. So you have the honor. Three, two, one, slow. Oh, 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 that sound. Right now, we're gonna attempt to vertically mount the graphics card. But it's first, you have to remove these two last shields. Uh. This bracket. Need two screws to properly secure the card. Oh, you have to. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I uh, have successfully built my own PC thanks to my two shifu here, my two sensei who have guided me and one thing I learned is to always look at the manual and read it. <laughs> anyway, uh, the anticipated <coughs> moment is here whether this thing will work or not. So, you guys ready? Are you hopeful or not? You've got faith, right? Should we can uh, We have confidence in you. Okay, okay can, can. Magic, magic. Hit the power button. Okay, one, two, three. I hear some. I hear some. The fans are spinning. So that's a good sign. Oh, yes, keyboard lighted. Oh, that's okay. Ah, beautiful. I see the ROG logo. Yes, beautiful. Oh, 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 oh,
And if you want to watch more videos, you can actually click over here.